Suddenly, people are concerned about where their food comes from. What's in it? What's been sprayed on it? How many thousands of gallons of water were needed to nourish it? Much of the country is in critical drought. Water is as valuable as oil in some parts. Free range, hormone free, organic, and hyper local. Do we even know what that means anymore? When the USDA certifies a package of chickens as free range, it means that the chickens had access to the outdoors. There's no requirement for the length of time spent outside and no guarantee that the chicken ever ventured outside of its enclosure. Wild game remains as nature intended, 100% natural. As I see the discussion pivot about hunting, non-hunting, I think part of it is people's interest in their food. If ever in my life I've seen people become more interested in where their food comes from, how it's acquired, what its values are, it's today. Recently, there's been a huge movement for organic food. People want to know where their food comes from. They want food that's natural, that doesn't have hormones injected. And honestly, hunters have been doing that for hundreds of years. Well, to some people, it's kind of like a bulb went off. Like, oh, wow, look at this. You can get this organic, non-chemical, non-hormone food. Most of the available meat at U.S. grocery stores comes from one of the large-scale commercial farms often called factory farms. I think we as people lose something when we stop understanding how the natural world exists. And to be honest, one of my greatest fears for our society is this continual degradation of that connection. Our society is becoming more and more urbanized and disconnected from the source of food to the benefits and things that the natural world can deliver if we spend time in it. The people that are sustained throughout the year through hunting, it's immeasurable. And I don't know what we would do to compensate for that. How much wild game is actually in, you know, our food stream in North America? And it's really significant. You know, when you think about the animals that we hunt and how many people that feeds, many hunters, they, they keep a portion of what they, what they kill, but they give a lot of that away and it goes to a lot of different people and feeds a lot of people. If you took that out of the food stream, you know, what would that actually mean for this country, for North America? You know, you're talking about putting an additional strain on agriculture in order to produce more, you know, more meat, you know, more beef, more pork, more poultry. And it's just a ripple effect, you know, it's an it's a expense that continues to compound on top of itself. You know, a pound of hamburger becomes, you know, eight to ten dollars a pound. You know, these aren't scare tactics, it's just reality. If there were no hunting, if suddenly tomorrow hunting was banned, and 13.7 million hunters feeding a family of 3.5 each had to suddenly go to the grocery store to buy their meat, that would cripple our infrastructure. The environmental impact on our society would be staggering.